Hey guys, welcome back to Come Again. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the little bell to receive notifications every time we upload a new video. Today, we're going to be talking about Dynamite Entertainment's Masks 2, created by Colin Bunn and Iman Casales. So stay tuned. So as I said, today we're going to be taking a look at The Masks 2, created by Colin Bunn and Iman Casala for Dynamite Entertainment. The Red Death is plaguing the pulp heroes of the Dynamite universe in three different time periods. Again and again, after each defeat, she resurfaces in the 1930s, the 1970s, and in present day. The Spider, Green Llama, and Lady Satan travel through time to unite heroes from each time period to save the world from time-altering effects and stop the Red Death's nefarious plans. But how exactly did the Red Death obtain the ability to travel through time and alter reality? She stole it from the Spider himself. Created by Colin Bunn and Iman Casalos for Dynamite Entertainment, as an out-of-continuity sequel to Dynamite's first success of bringing the pulp heroes together with the 2012 miniseries Masks. Masks 2 brings together the Spider, Green Llama, Lady Satan, two different versions of the Green Hornet and Kato, the Black Bat, Thunderbolt, and the Black Terror, two different versions of Miss Fury and Black Sparrow. We also get a look at heroes from alternate timelines as well, such as the Green Spirit Llama, Paula Thunderbolt Cannon, Deadly Black Sparrow, a robotic version of the Shadow, Black Terror of the Seas, the Pirate Black Bats, which is a baseball themed Black Bat, uh, Lady Satanic, Miss Furious, Miss Fury and her dinosaur Annabelle, the Red Spider, an actual green hornet, a giant green hornet, along with ever-changing alternate reality versions of the same heroes. We even get one version of the green hornet that kind of resembles Saban's masked writer from the 90s. Like most of Dynamite's comics, I really enjoyed this story and couldn't put it down. It does confirm that the Black Bat in the previous review we did is in fact a part of the present day, which means he's a completely different version of the Black Bat than appeared in the first Masks story arc, which also confirms that this story is not in continuity with the original. However, it is clear that the Black Terror, Green Hornet and Kato, the Spider, Green Llama, Lady Satan and the Shadow have all worked together before, or at the very least are familiar with each other. The only thing that could have made the story better is if Dynamite used continuity rather than individual self-contained stories in their comics. However, they do make an attempt to create continuity by including Britt Reed Jr. and Mulan Kato, which are part of the new Green Hornet series, um, taking over for their fathers in the present day. Uh, they also use the black bat um, in which he wears the same costume as he wears in the um, current at the time black bat comic book series. Another way that Dynamite tries to build continuity by joining the shadow and the black sparrow together like in the shadow noir. However the costume the black terror wears is the one he can be seen in during the modern day in the events of Project Superpowers. But it's made clear that this black tear is from the 1930s, which again doesn't work well within continuity. It could be argued that since this story does revolve around time travel and reality altering events, 
That could be the cause of the Black Terror's costume change and the Black Bat now being from modern day rather than from the 1930s as he was in the previous Masks miniseries. Even if you aren't familiar with these heroes, I strongly suggest you give them a chance as everything I've read from Dynamite thus far has been fantastic. Hey guys, Shannon here. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share these videos with your family and friends. Because every time you do, you protect the memory of lesser known heroes from the golden age and beyond.